The Labour MP was asked about whether her party would commit to reducing government spending by Rob Rinder and Ranveer Singh. The Good Morning Britain hosts took Angela Rayner to task over government spending and the cost of living crisis. As they spoke to the MP, Rinder was forced to step in and stop Rayner, who he felt was making a party political broadcast with her answers. You've been quite articulate and I think a lot of people champion you for saying, look it's not enough for you to not be the Conservative Party, Rinder began. You as a Labour Party have to offer something concrete, clear and different so when I look at how much money has been spent let's say for example Craig Hans who spent two nights at a £380 per night at a five-star grand hotel, is it the position of the Labour government then, if you were to get into power that you would categorically commit to the British government to say you would not do that? Rayner replied, well what we are clear on. And some of this expenditure is legitimate and I'm very clear on that. $1,733,906 What I am very clear on is that Labour would be transparent so first of all, the only reason we have these figures is because I have FOI'd the government and asked for them. Some government departments publish them and some of them don't. We had a National Audit Office report and the Public Accounts Committee report some years ago. Rinder interrupted, Sorry, Angela Rayner, that's not an answer. Look you're straight talking, you're from the North, people relate to you, £318 a night, we had a Tory minister on who said, I stay at a cheap hotel. Would you do the same? It's as simple as that. Would you reduce the costs? Angela Rayner, I don't need to stay at a grand hotel to represent Britain, yes or no? Rayner replied, government ministers staying at some hotels is completely legitimate. I did give you that answer saying there is some legitimate spend. But there is also other spends like a hot pink photo booth for nearly £2,000, thousands of pounds on sparkling wine that isn't acceptable. Later in the interview, Rayner remarked, you're talking about billions of pounds of money in the overall procurement that has been wasted by this government. That is important and we have come up with solutions on that, I'm talking about the Office for Value for Money and we do spot checks on these cards, transparency around it which is incredibly important. I've talked about an ethics and integrity commission that would clear up politics and cleaning up politics is important to people. But Rinder cut in and snapped. Cleaning up politics is important, I'm talking over you Angela Rayner because we don't have time, it's not a party political broadcast. What matters is being dry eight with the public and the policies you might offer as an alternative to the Conservative Party. GMB viewers were impressed with Rinder and took to Twitter to praise the presenter. Rob Rinder kinda losing his rag with Angela Rayner this morning on hashtag GMB and I get why, he's asking straightforward questions and ain't last giving any clear straight answer, Claire posted on Twitter. Rob just said I'm sorry to talk over you but it's not a party political broadcast. Totally agree. Sarah Harkin added, at GMB got to love Rob we don't have time this is not a party political broadcast hashtag GMB. Good Morning Britain airs weekdays on ITV from 6am.